Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Let's talk about Lomachenko and Haney because uh, ever since the fight finished, which was just over, no, it wasn't, it was less than 24 hours ago. I was going to say it was 24 hours ago. It was far less than that, actually. Um, probably about 19 hours ago as I'm making this video. Um, we've heard nothing but the word robbery thrown around. And this kind of bugs me because I scored that fight one 15, 113, as I watched it live for Lomachenko. I then rewatched it today and I scored it 115, 113 for Lomachenko. I definitely think Lomachenko won that fight. Definitely. I will argue with anyone who thinks Haney won it, but you know what? I'm not going to sit here and say that anybody who thinks Haney won that fight is dishonest. Sometimes you just disagree. And I can argue, well, I know more about boxing than you do. And you can argue, well, I know, I know more about boxing than you do. And around we go, around and around and around. Look, if you're going to use the word robbery, which implies corruption, not, not incompetence, it implies corruption, then you've got to be realistic about this. You've got to reserve this word for the genuine occasions where there is something glaringly suspicious that goes on, that has gone on. I always think... In recent years, I always think of the fight between Sonny, I think his name was Sonny Martinez from Spain, a journeyman who fought Campbell Hatton in England, barely lost a round, and yet Hatton supposedly won by one point. And that was a sole arbiter. The referee scored that fight. Can't remember who it was, uh, but uh, very, very suspicious. Very suspicious. If it's not suspicious, then that referee should be dragged over the coals because. Uh, he doesn't know what he's doing. He doesn't know what he's scoring. He doesn't know how to score a fight. There is no way on God's green earth that Sonny Martinez lost that fight. On a bigger stage uh, in recent years, I would say that the, the, well, certainly the Jack Catterall robbery against, and I, I will use the word robbery, against um, Josh Taylor. It's one of the worst decisions I've ever seen in over 40 years of watching boxing. Um yeah, well, over 45 years of roughly watching boxing, I've never... It's one of the worst. Um, but is it, when I say robbery, this is the thing, this is the point I'm getting at here. You can be robbed without there being any corruption involved. You can be robbed through sheer incompetence, which I think was probably the case with the Catterall-Taylor decision. It was such an appalling decision that, quite frankly, I mean, they, they kicked John, Ian John Lewis out or demoted him and then he walked and whoever the other judge was who scored it for, for Taylor, he should have gone with him as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it's just atrocious, atrocious scoring. Vastly, vastly um, incompetent. But not necessarily corrupt in the sense of there's some sort of, you know, deliberate skullduggery going on. Now, that's not to say that corruption doesn't exist in boxing. I think it does, you know, but it's far more subtle than people make out. It's more about, um, you know, massaging the egos of certain officials, doing them little favours. And, I mean, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we had Tony Weeks stopping that fight, stopping Barroso against um, Rowley. Very suspicious. Very, very suspicious. But here's, the, here's the, the annoying thing, and it is annoying. You've got to have proof to prove that there's some, some sort of corruption going on. Unfortunately, that's a difficult, to ha difficult thing to have. Now, we can have our suspicions, just as we can have suspicions that certain fighters were on steroids and never got nicked. I'm looking at you, Manny Pacquiao. I'm looking at you, Juan Manuel Marquez. I'm looking at a load of other people, Mr. Holyfield, Tyson. You know, you can have your suspicions, but if they never fail the test, there's no evidence, you know. And it's the same with... with um, I mean, another one that I would be very, very suspicious of, very suspicious of, is Robin Reed, who hardly lost a round against Sven Ocker in Germany, and he, he lost the fight. He supposedly lost the fight. I mean, he won the fight. By any, by any criteria, he won that fight. Um, and yet, I mean, go back and watch it. Don't take my word for any of these things that I'm saying. Go and watch them. They're on YouTube. Go and watch them. Uh, and, you know... It, it, a lot of the stuff that went on, we, you know, I mean, you take, for example, Klitschko and Alexander Povetkin, Vladimir Klitschko, when they fought, you know, all that. Vladimir Klitschko should have been disqualified, but everything's, you know, weighted in for one fighter, the home fighter, the big, the promoter's guy, the guy with the, the big uh, money label attached to him, the big price tag. And the other guy is left out in the cold. Now, that's corruption of a sort, you know, because everything's weighted in one guy's favour. 
on the other hand, things could go perfectly well. I mean, you know, Chantel Cameron went went in, went to Katie Taylor's, you know, coming home party in front of ten thousand fans or whatever it was, fifteen thousand fans, and 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 won a, a deserved decision. You know, it, it, and that's in Ireland. She won a decision over Katie Taylor in Ireland. It's completely spoiled the party. Well, you know, what I'm getting at is not everything that you disagree with is corruption. Uh, you can argue incompetence. I just don't agree that Haney beat Loma. I thought Loma won clearly, it, but it was close. You can win clearly, but it's close. You can say, well, yeah, it was a close fight, but I definitely think so-and-so won. I mean, that that's not corruption. That's not even incompetence. If someone said to me, I thought it was a draw, I'd be like, mm, uh, you're pushing it a bit there. If they said, oh, I thought Haney won 115, won, uh, 130, which I think two of them, two of them had, it, had it at that. I'd say 115, 113 to Haney. No, no, mate, I don't agree with that. 7-5 to Haney. I just don't agree with that. I just don't see it. The only one that really raises the eyebrows is the 8-4 that Dave Moretti did, especially as he gave Haney the 10th round. There, there is something. Now, that is either extreme incompetence, that 10th round, or it is something more. But again, you've got to have proof. And I don't like, I just don't like the way this, this robbery word is thrown around. With the advent of the internet, the the voices of people who are basically not don't have a lot of intellectual nous, aren't very bright, are blowhards, aren't really interested in the truth, they're just really interested in shouting a lot of infantile prepubescent nonsense about how the the world is corrupt and everything's wrong and you know and and there are no coincidences in life and you know everything's a conspiracy and and you know look you just grow the grow grow the fuck up or if you if you don't want to if you don't want to grow up then at least leave thinking logical rational thinking objective thinking to those who can do it you know and because if you do that, if if you say that literally anything that, that you disagree with, anything that is, you know, could be mildly construed as suspicious. If you're saying that anything is anything of that nature is corruption, you're actually obscuring the real corruption that goes on in the world. And I'm not just talking books, I'm talking you know, political things and, you know, you know, everything. Some people with these conspiracy theories, everything's a false flag. Everything's, you know, everything's geared towards, you know, the intelligentsia, the, or the matrix. You know? <laughs> get the fuck out of here. These people are such, such morons. But I'm digressing. I mean, let's get back to boxing. You know, in boxing, it's the same thing. It's like a microcosm of the world, isn't it? It's just, or it's representative of this type of mentality. Um, sometimes there is glare and incompetence. Sometimes you can be robbed without incompetence, without, without corruption. But just through incompetence, it's still a robbery, even though no one's done anything conscientious or, or consciously uh, corrupt. Nevertheless, they've been so incompetent that they've essentially robbed you. It's the same thing. Um, so, yeah, I just thought I just wanted to put that out there because I'm so sick of this, you know, constant talk of constant conspiracy theories. And bullshit. I really, I really do hate it. And uh, but, yeah, I thought I thought Loma won that fight. No question. Absolutely no question at all. Go on, argue with me in the comments if you like. Um, and But, you know, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the like button. You know the drill by now. Spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing and let's get them numbers up. Food for thought, hopefully, this video. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Bye for now.